Hello and welcome, dearest. I'm Grandma Mimsy. Thank you for spending time with me today while we update our nails. And I was in a live video the other day and many people were asking how to use their stamper. So I'm doing an updated video on everything you might need to know that you didn't get from my other videos. So before I go into that, I do want to quickly explain that, um, let's see here. One of the things that Maniology does offer is to be able to get different scrapers. So the scrapers come in seasonal shapes and designs, and this was from a couple of years ago. I've been collecting these because I think they're cute, and I just wanted to have extras. Um, so they're different seasonal designs and uh, for like Christmas and Halloween and whatnot. So there's that out of the way. The other thing is if you are not already subscribed to the monthly subscription box and don't know anything about Maniology, I have several videos that explains everything you need to know and how to get your free stamper that comes with your first box because you only get the stamper with the first box not every month. You do uh, have the option for other special purchases and bundles. They um, have different um, plates and other accessories that you can get as a bundled set for uh, seasonal events and causes that they may offer where you'll get uh, a plate or two, some polish that will come in with that as well as a um, limited edition stamper. Uh, sometimes it comes in a gift and the, if you're not aware of the monthly subscription, you get two plates, two exclusive to the box and exclusive to subscribers. If you are not subscribed, you cannot buy them. Um, and they're only while supplies last because after each box uh, becomes available and ships then for a limited time it's available on the website to purchase but once they sell out they're gone uh, in one of the months we received um, the monocle stamper and this is was an exclusive it was available for purchase but they are long since sold out um, it was for summer so that's why there's the uh, ice cream symbols on the top this was also uh, has the glitter as you can see, they normally don't come that way. And then uh, if there's an exclusive one or one that comes in a bundle of some sort, it usually comes with a coordinating matching scraper card. And this one coordinated was exclusively to the 2022 box of shadows. You could not buy this one after the box release. Like you could get some of the polishes and the plates and other things. This was exclusive to the box and so it has the matching. Um, this one was a holiday one uh, a while back. I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, but it had a, a scraper that came with it. All of mine are all in the goodies of things that, that and, and then this one was a, in the bundle also for the Halloween of 2022. It came with its, so they're all in their little respective holdings of places. This was a gift that they sent out in one of the boxes last year, the year before, I forget which, but it was a pineapple card holder. So as you do your process, so you're going to do the plate, you're going to do the scraping, um, do the, what you need to do, and then it holds it. And as well as having the monthly inspiration card, if you want the instructions and, and or the picture, that'll sit and hold it in one of the things while you're doing what you need to do. And also in uh, last month's box was the um, brush that came with the two brush thingies with the cap and the, and the whole nine yards they could, if you're using that. So there's lots of nifty little goodies that will help your stamping process. But to get to today's video, one of the things I do recommend is getting the uh, Sticky Stamper Station. Uh, this is a limited edition one that came also in the subscription box. So while they're uh, still available on the website, you can purchase these. Otherwise, they come in the regular Maniology shade coloring, um, their the logo colors. And essentially what happens is 
you will use that with your stamper. There's a multitude of other uses, and I think I did a video, or I can do a video, if someone would want more information, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. But the um, when you get your plate, your plate comes with a cover, a blue film uh, that you peel off, and then you need to clean that uh, with pure alcohol, no, excuse me, starting over, words are hard, pure acetone, not the, the nail polish remover that has any of the extra additives in it. You want to have just plain. Use the one with the additives for your fingers, uh, but use the, the plain one for your plates. Do not use anything associated with um, alcohol or uh, acetone or polish remover on your stamper. You can use rubbing alcohol on this to clean it off if it gets cloudy or whatever things to help kind of make things be seen. But uh, I recommend that you have a paper towel or something that you can work on or the rounds, whatever your preference or uh, issues, uh, not issues of uh, that you want to do because everyone has their, but these tend to be like where they, they fuzz. Uh, I've gotten some that don't and when you get those, Find, keep them but essentially when you first get your stamper you need to clean it and uh, somewhere in the instructions it said uh, you could use dish soap tiny tiny amount wash everything set your stamper so that it can air dry because this part comes out then you reassemble everything and how to use now if you don't want to wash it you can get a index card take this out leave it here to sit, put another uh, index card or any type of non-fuzz paper, a paper towel would not be a good idea. Um, but leave it sit for a couple days. And if you start seeing an oil kind of slick surrounding that, that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do because it has stuff in it and working with washing it with the dish soap helps to get rid of that quicker. So essentially, when you get this, and I know you're, everyone's going to be excited to start, you know, learning how to do this. What I recommend is getting a surface. And uh, one of the things that you can do as far as cleaning this, um, that's what the sticky stamper station works for. So essentially, you would peel this part. Now, this top part is good for if you want to plan out your design, you can list what you have and keep for future reference this part comes off and you can keep that when you use this and it's full then you just throw it away if um this is not something that you can get right away and didn't know about the uh lint brush rollers that has the refills you can use that you can use um masking tape scotch tape i wouldn't recommend duct tape but any type of a, a tapey type sticky surface is what you use to clean. So you would get your stamper station, pull out one of the pages. That would be this. Then you're going to go through and I have where I have a piece of masking tape. And you want to keep it covered. So I put the masking tape there. That way I have a tab to pull because this little thing and then you're trying to do stuff and then you touch this and it's sticky and then it becomes a comedy of errors. So um, you pull this up and after you've done everything and you need to clean it, then you rub that off to the top and that's what, how it cleans things off. And I don't know if you can see on the image of that, you can barely see where I rubbed the stamper that it took off. It left an impression right there and you can see the shadow of it. So essentially, clean your stamper, then you want to move to using all of the things you have. So you have your plate, you're going to have paper towels or something down to catch. If you get the lotus mat, that works too, but I still like to have something underneath and let's move here. So you have uh, paper towels or the cotton rounds or something to be able to catch the excess polish and then you're going to use your scraper and again whichever version you like because it's a curve as to which one you prefer so explore and experiment and you're going to leave the stamper the plate be flat 
and take your scraper and you want to be at what they consider a 45 degree angle and I hope that this translates well and you're just going to slide across just slide across it doesn't kind of look like it when you're doing it quickly but you want to leave it at that angle and then you need to go in a direction so if you're not picking up on an image and it's not working right change the direction that you're scraping find a way and just keep experimenting with it and then you'll figure out which way for that image because some images are more tricky than others and the direction that you go makes a difference and that's the biggest hint I can give new stampers on the process of that so essentially before you break out the polish before you break out anything and are working on anything take off your um, your sticky pad that you're going to use whether it's the the lynch the refill to the lint brush or uh, the stamper pad things have your stamper be in the holder because you see it's it's the sticky is what is making things work and mine is stickier because I used it with the glitter and the chromes and so it made it even kind of stranger so I need to go and occasionally rewash depending on how often you use this when you notice that it's doing funky things and it's not working well when in doubt wash it um, but again tiny amount of dish soap so the first thing you want to do before you break out the nail polish and start trying to stamp on anything is learn how to use this and it is a motion rolling it is not a flat on the stamper squish it it is a roll it like a rock and roll there is a motion to it like someone who takes the quarter and folds it through their fingers and you're going I can't do that that's okay you can do this so it's just a matter on this, this something sticky even if it's just on your lotus pad which they have several version sizes I have a video on it I highly recommend it but just sit there and play with it for a little while while you're watching TV or listening to music or reading something just sit there and get the motion in whichever hand that you want to use I'm both hands so um, the ambidextrous don't let that intimidate you I just had to learn how to do things differently because of that so and that's basically what this is is it learning how it works for you doing doing it how it works best with your abilities to do it and it's a matter of like any other habit it takes 13 times to create the neural pathway for the habit to be formed you haven't formed the habit yet you've just created the neural pathway to allow the habit after 100 repetitions or approximately three months you have the habit depending on how often you use it but if you do something every day for a about six weeks 30 days something like that depending on how you're you're calculating which science you know thing you create a habit and then to break a bad habit you can't undo the habit you have to replace it with something different and start all over learning how to do something new and replacing that that's why smoking and dieting and all these other things are so difficult because everyone wants to go back to the habit because that's what you have created within the skill set just like learning to walk and run and ride a bike and drive a car and cook and all the other things that you have learned how to do in all the years that you have been here this is learning a new habit so again you're just sitting there mindlessly rolling gently and whether you're using the ice cup ice cube stamper the monocle the round one there's a, a boatload of shapes that you can get from maniology and other locations find one that works best for you and then practice with it for a couple of days. I know you're excited to play with the polish and the, and, the, and the things, but learn the skill and then the doing the process will be a lot easier after the fact. So it's just a matter of finding the rhythm. I did see a video and I don't remember who did this and if I figure out who they are, I will add the, the credit and the link. But essentially they said that they would do this before they were going to do a stamp. So it's, you sit there for a few minutes right before you're going to apply everything. And let me get this out of the way because it's sticky and wants to keep sticking to me. So you're, you're going to do something. You have your plate. You have everything ready to go. You have all of your things in front of you to make it easy because it's like cooking. It goes in the process. So if you have everything set up and ready, then 
the setup and ready everything streamlines and goes to that whole um, assembly line ability to be able to do it. And then the other thing is if you already have a guide, if you've already figured out and planned it out on a piece of paper, then you know what steps you're going to be doing. And that makes that so much easier. So again, this person was saying that you do this a few times right before you and just get the motion of it. So you have to be quick because again, the stamping polish can get pretty snickety and you apply the polish and do your scraping. And then you've already sat there doing this a few minutes before you did that. So then you do it again, how you're going to do the motion and then you do the motion and then you apply. And it's just a matter of getting that down. So uh, like uh, they have talked about the science of how people have investigated and studied uh, athletes and had a group of people that went in and did uh, divided them into three. They had some people that actually went and practiced for an hour on a court throwing a basketball and they had what their numbers were. And at the beginning, everybody was, here's how many shots from the free throw line that they can make a basket. And then had uh, so many people from the th one third of the group out there practicing for an hour doing their free throws from the line. And they had another group that uh, would sit there and meditate on this and imagine this and w imagine in their minds that what the things that they were going to do. And that's all they did. They never touched a ball. They never went out on the court. They just imagined what they were going to do. And then they had another group that imagined what they were going to do before they went out there and did it. And then when they compared the numbers that the people that actually were practicing on the court did the worst as far as improvement after so many weeks, they went and how many baskets can they make the, their scores didn't improve that much. They did improve, but not considered to the amount of people who thought about this and then went out there and practiced. And the people who never went out and practiced the two groups were about the same that the people that just thought about it beforehand. And then the people who thought about it beforehand and actually practiced, their numbers were almost identical. And there is a famous Olympian who pretty much before they got picked for the Olympian team was just imagining the things that they would be doing. Imagine that they would get up on the, on the, the riser and be in first place and win the gold medal. And imagine, you know, taking the bow and saying thank you and what they would be doing for the whole process of actually winning uh, something at the Olympics. And this is something they imagined every single day before practice, every single moment that they had. This is what they thought about. And then eventually at one point they made it to the Olympics. I don't remember who it was and I don't remember where the story came from, but that's just one of those things that applies here. It's um, the mental belief and the mental imagery of what you're doing and just let it flow. Just practice this and believe that you can like the story you heard as a little kid the little engine I don't know I think I can I think I can well no I I know I can I believe I can I can I can do it I can do it I can do it believe that you can do it and you'll be able to do it I hope this helps I hope you enjoyed this video and that this helps your stamping process improve because I absolutely love being able to create all kinds of artwork and I have not had a single nail match and I don't know how many years because it's just too much fun to play with all the things. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for watching and subscribing. I appreciate every one of you. Please be kind. Please be kind to everyone, including those you think might not need it. Especially be kind to yourself because, well, that's where we are in this world right now. Be kind. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.